Georgia is blessed or maybe cursed to be home to 47 species of snakes. Now, chances are if you're outside during the summer, there's a snake or two nearby. Now, how can we tell which ones to watch out for? Three of our junior journalists helped me get in some uh, insider info. Check this. So this is a corn snake and his name is Orville. First, we learned some snake basics from the museum's curator of wildlife sciences. They're not going to eat anything that's bigger than their girth. Uh, that includes small children. Even venomous ones, they're not going to chase you. Basically, they're antisocial and they can't even regulate their own body temperature. So they're going to depend on the sun to warm up. So if they get too hot, they might crawl under big brush piles or big wood piles because that's going to cool them down. Raptor program director Pete Griffin has some simple advice. Kind of just point it out, take a picture or whatever, and walk off. Main thing is, don't pick them up. But some snakes will tolerate being held. Will Rogers was the first to volunteer. Probably not going to get up close with one in my yard, but I mean. <laughs> then he felt ready to meet a bigger buddy. What's his name? His Just name? Pine. They named me Piney. Piney. Yeah. Kinsley and I decided to take a turn. You've never seen him go totally nuts on somebody and tear their arm up? Not yet. Ah. Oh. At least nobody's come back to tell us. Tell you what, you want to okay. you want to take that guy? <laughs> yeah. All right. This is kind of feeling weird now. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. That was well done. <laughs> Alyssa wasn't interested, but she has encountered one before. So I've seen a snake in my backyard, and my dog didn't have on a leash, so I had to grab him by his neck fat and just run. Pete says pine snakes are often mistaken for rattlesnakes. Now it's important to know the venomous snakes. Okay, you got an eastern coral snake, okay, cottonmouth, copperhead. You got an eastern diamondback rattlesnake, a dusky pygmy rattlesnake, and then a cane brake or a uh, seminole rattlesnake. But ultimately, there's no such thing as a good snake or a bad snake. They're all good snakes. right there. Yeah, so uh, I don't know what you do, but whenever I see one, I just say, hey, how you doing? And I walk the other way. For more detailed information on identifying venomous snakes, I still can't tell them apart. Look for this story on our website. You'll find extended footage of all the snake encounters. Fun stuff.